I realize that I'm making the speech some uh, 4,500 kilometers from the Pacific Ocean. And it may be a tad difficult for many Canadians in this part of the country to feel connected to the Asia Pacific region, let alone the landmass uh, that is Asia. So let me close by making a simple proposition. I have been struck, you know, by the uh, importance of the Great Lakes in the Canadian imagination and how these uh, very large bodies of water in modern times are seen not as separating parts of Canada or separating Canada from the US, but in a sense connecting the US with Canada and connecting different parts of Canada to each other. In the same way, the completion of the St. Lawrence Seaway, now 50 years old, connected the Great Lakes and this part of the country to the Atlantic Ocean and beyond to Europe. I, I'm not about to say, as Premier Campbell is fond of saying, that the Asia-Pacific Gateway in British Columbia is Canada's St. Lawrence Seaway for the 21st century. That would be too BC-centric uh, for me to use that analogy. Rather, what I would say to you is that the Pacific Ocean is nothing more than Canada's Great Lake to the West. That's all it is. And if we have succeeded in conquering the Great Lakes to the East many years ago, ushering a golden period of business, <coughs> diplomatic, and human linkages with the United States and with Europe, surely, ladies and gentlemen, we can conquer the Great Lake to the West.